Go ye therefore and teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost, teaching them to observe all things whatsoever I have commanded you. And lo, I am with you alway, even unto the end of the world. Master is awaiting a rich reward to give. The fields be ripe and ready, the laborers of you. To the highways and the byways, an angel has been assigned, sealing all the servants who will heed to the call. It's a time to search the heart if in God it still believes. It's a time to search the soul if the truth it can. And obey, proclaiming in a loud voice, probation is closing. The angel of mercy making the last call. The everlasting gospel to everyone it must be preached. To towns, tribes, and nations everywhere we must reach. Reviving and reforming the backslidden and the laws. Lead them to a savior, they are guilty stains to cleanse. It's a time to search the heart, if in God is still believes it's a time to search the soul if the truth it can obey proclaiming in a loud voice probation is closing the angel of mercy making the last call the good news of salvation is power to holiness dispelling all darkness it says the captives free Compelling with compassion the bruised and distressed Bring them to a kingdom that is free of grief and shame It is the time to search the heart If in God is still believe It's the time to search the soul If the truth it can obey Proclaiming in a loud voice, probation is closing. The angel of mercy making the last call. It is the time to set the heart. If in God is dead, it is the time to set the soul. If the truth can obey, proclaiming in a loud voice, probation is closing. The angel. Of mercy, making the last call. It is the time to set the heart. If in God is still, it is the time to set the soul. If the truth it can obey, proclaiming in a loud voice, probation is closing. The angel of mercy making the last call Proclaiming in a loud voice, probation is closing The angel of mercy making the last call <laughs> Every one work has been allotted, and no one can be a substitute for another. Each one has a mission of wonderful importance, which he cannot neglect or ignore, as the fulfillment of it involves the weal of some soul, and the neglect of it the woe of one for whom Christ died. Review and Herald, December 12, 1893. We should all be workers together with God. No idlers are acknowledged as his servants. The members of the church should individually feel that the life and prosperity of the church are affected by their course of action. Review and Herald, February 15, 1887. 
Every soul whom Christ has rescued is called to work in his name for the saving of the lost. This work had been neglected in Israel. Is it not neglected today by those who profess to be followers of Christ? Christ's Object Lessons, page 191.